part of the great work that the Global School Meals Coalition is doing to ensure that our children have the nourishment they need to stay healthy and attend school. When I shared with our president about this event tonight, he expressed his deep appreciation for every effort to secure our children's health and education, a responsibility he passed to me during the International Women's Day 2024 celebrations. He shared with me a simple truth from his own life, that being able to access a health meal as a child alongside a good education enabled him to reach where he is today, serving this country as its fifth president. I want to specifically thank the 12 task force member countries of the Global School Meals Coalition, who are now our friends and partners in this journey. I also appreciate the strong representation from our cabinet, who has spearheading the implementation of our school feeding program in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence of each one of us here reaffirms that we are united in the belief that every child deserves a fair start, beginning with a plate of food and an education. This evening, as I sampled the dinner, I thought of what an evening it would be like if, for some reason, the food was not available. Imagine the disappointment and hunger we might feel, even just for a few hours, before finding a snack later on our way home. Now, think of our children who experience this daily. From morning to night, across the many urban settlements and arid regions in our country. This struggle to meet their most basic needs impacts every aspect of their lives, from their learning to their physical and mental development to the futures they dream of. As a teacher, I can only imagine the pain I would feel teaching a hungry child. This is the reality for many Kenyan children, and it doesn't end there. Hunger keeps these children out of classrooms as they often help their families search for food and water. And yet, with a median age of 19, our young people are our greatest asset and the future of our nation. We must make their health and nutrition a priority from the very beginning by supporting children and expectant mothers so that our next generation begins life on solid ground. Malnutrition affects our nation through lost productivity and increased health care costs. It is estimated that 6% of across domestic product is at risk due to the impacts of undernutrition on health, education, and productivity. A hungry child cannot learn. And as many of us can attest, productivity diminishes on an empty stomach. World Food Program data tells us that over 20% of children in our classrooms cannot concentrate because of hunger. This is not just an issue of nutrition, it is an issue of equity. The dining area in every school is one of the most important spaces where children socialize, gain nourishment, and also learn about healthy eating habits and develop positive lifelong food choices. We are inspired by the success of the Dishi Na County, a public-private partnership initiative by Honorable Johnson Sakaja, Governor Nairobi County. The program is feeding children with nutritious hot meals every day of the week prepared in centralized kitchens and distributed to various schools across the city. The model uses a data-driven model where technology is used to efficient food distribution and tracking nutrition metrics of the children. Ladies and gentlemen, as a nation, we have taken an ambitious goal to reach 10 million school children with nutritious meals by 2030. Currently, 
we are feeding 2.6 million children through national and county government initiatives with the support of partners like the World Food Program. Our model for school feeding goes beyond just providing meals. It aims to create communities that are sustainable and self-sufficient. The kitchen garden we visited this evening is one of the demonstration sites for schools to learn how to organically grow short season nutritious crops such as vegetables and herbs. The produce from the farm was part of our dinner today. I hope you enjoyed. This participatory initiative teaches our children the value of food security and instills a sense of ownership in their health and nutrition, as well as that of their families. Climate Smart Meal initiatives contribute to our national goals, such as our President's vision to plant and grow 15 billion trees by 2032 in support of this vision. I'm personally working on a broad ambition to grow 500 million trees, 30% of which will be fruit trees. We are establishing fruit orchards dubbed Mama Fruit Garden in schools to supplement children's fruit intake. We are further impacting local communities, particularly women, youth, and small-scale farmers to grow food for near nearby schools and reduce the miles in mills, lower our carbon footprint, and build local economies. This approach creates jobs, raises household incomes, and supports financial stability. This approach aligns with the global understanding that empowering women in agriculture leads to more sustainable food systems as they are often the custodians of biodiversity and champions of nutritional needs in their families and communities at large. Mother Teresa once said, and I quote, if you can't feed a hundred people, then feed just one. I invite you to this dinner tonight to appreciate the ministerial success and leadership in school feeding globally, assure you of my commitment to this journey and request your partnership towards the realization of our goal to feed 10 million children by 2030 in Kenya. By investing in the health and well-being of our children, we invest in the future of our nation. I will close my remarks today by requesting you to kindly repeat the following after me. A plate of food is power in a child's hands. I didn't hear you. A plate of food is power in a child's hands. Thank you. I wish you great deliberations tomorrow during the ministerial meeting of the task force of the Global School Mills Coalition. Thank you, and may the good Lord bless you. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'm kindly requesting you remain on stage because School Mills uh, Coalition would like to present a gift to you. And I would like to invite Percy Hellman to present the gift to Her Excellency. I would also want to ask uh, Lorraine Landis to also make her way close to the stage because of the next gift. We'll start with Percy Hellman. Kindly make your way to the stage. I'll ask the rest of us, we join Her Excellency with a warm welcome, even as she receives the gifts. Thank you, Mr. Hellman. Lorraine Landis will be presenting a beautiful pin or a button that represents countries that are members of SMC. Kindly, Lorraine. Awesome. A round of applause, kindly. Thank you. Her Excellency will remain on stage. SMC Task Force representatives of the following countries, Her Excellency would like to also gift you, and I'll start with Finland. Representative, uh, I guess 